<laughs> Flicked its balls and then you watched it maul a toddler. Are we live, man? Yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Ep number 33, baby. <laughs> hey, mom. Hey, dad. Uh, every, every, shout every, out to every, choir. Every, it's her birthday this weekend. It's her birthday this day. Saturday. Fuck yeah, choir. <laughs> 60 Earth years, but like 419 in Quelch years. Ooh. Anyway, um, fuck me. We've had a ripping weekend, haven't we? We had a week off last week. And let me tell you, let me give you a rundown on the end of our week last weekend, okay? I had two weddings. And we had one of our old, like, high school friends' weddings all the way down in Forster. Yeah. That's so Forster? Seven-hour drive, Brown. Seven-hour drive. So a wedding on Saturday... Seven. Had to go keep it nice and chill. And then Saturday, Sunday oh, sh- morning. Sorry. Are you, have, did you put mine on? Because I didn't push mine. Yeah, I pushed them all. But I re... I, re- I reset it, ever. I reset mine. I deleted some stuff. Did you go buy again and push Growl it? me out. He wants you to growl him out. Go on, McMatt. Show him. <laughs> oh, Show him so what you can do with up. your tongue. That's so I can see the excitement fun. in his eyes. It's like when you play with a toy in front of a cat and its eyes, pupils dilate. Oh. That's Matt right now. I hope we I hope the <laughs> wide's on so people can see that. <laughs> <laughs> My brown's calling for brown. It's I'm like, so scared it's not on. Maybe you should check. It's fine. I'm going to have to check. Anyway, we went to Four Star and we, um, we emceed. It was our first wedding that we've ever emceed. We emceed our mate Michael's wedding. It was a beautiful wedding. And, and then we had a fucking bit of a party then, didn't we? And, and Michael tried to make a suicide pact with everyone at the wedding. Oh, no. He was so fucked up, dancing on a table, screaming out, let's all kill ourselves. You okay, no, not. no, I've got... You did not. I've, I've, got, I've got problems, he's about to say. <laughs> I've got a reason for it. Oh. Okay. You then had a wedding. It was the end of the holidays, Brown. That's true. That it was is not an excuse. Anyway, but, he, yeah. was, he was promptly stopped and the party continued on, bro. Who fucking promptly oath stopped can't. him? Fucking oath can't. I don't. Yeah, fuck. Well, it's like this. This is the way I see it. It's everyone knows it. It's like, oh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you explain it in that way, it's a different Imagine angle. Imagine poor little Michael going. No, it was fun. It was don't like, worry, mum. He, he doesn't mean yeah, it. He cried. Yeah. No, no. So it's it. basically like this. And look at it in my eyes. They charge him like an extra grand on look top. Look at it. Look at it through his eyes, Matt. You're only it's, looking through your eyes. So say, okay, look, I'll put it, you, the example in your shoes. You're on holidays. You've got yeah. just, you've got a week off your, the concrete. You're still single. Okay. And you're fucking doing your Sunday old. walk on your Sunday. You remember on Sunday you do the Sunday walk? You're about mid 40s. Then I'm after fucking your, 35. After your week holiday, after week. you go on a Sunday walk and you know on Monday you've got to work. Yeah. I had to drive seven hours. So. So? So that's it. So we had a lovely weekend. It was good to see some old tournament mates. We saw Henry. Um, had a good old catch up with Hendog. When you guys are emceeing, did anything? No, not really. Everyone was expecting us to be crazy. But we sort of we got a you know a little outrage. We told them that that outrageous story of how we all got arrested in Europe. Oh yeah, that was good. And then other than that, it was pretty like pretty basic. Well, yeah, like we quickly... kept pretending like the kids were getting drunk. Yeah. Amber and Mon, <laughs> really? <Yeah. laughs> Amber and Mon raced up to us after we told that story. So it's our sort of story about the bride and groom. And we realized, fuck, we didn't even mention beautiful Katie. We just like <laughs> spoke about ourselves, ourselves yeah, and then slipped in Michael at the end of the story. Little Michael, who's wedding. Nah, it it's because little Michael, he's like the guy in the group who like, he's always there for the embarrassing stuff, but he's never the cause. So we just sort of, that was the story that came to our drunken minds at the time. Um, yeah, that does sound like you guys just spoke about yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, By the way, subscribe to the podcast, ourselves, eh? Could we? we couldn't help And ourselves. then fucking seven hour drive back on Monday, start working on Tuesday and walk through the door and fuck me, immediate stress. So we're fucked from the weekend of debauchery. Then we come through, we see, oh, both our Marty Michael page and our backup page, University of Michael, under review by Facebook. Could be facing reach restrictions and demonetization. I don't know what for. Could even be getting deleted. No, don't say that. Don't even put that out there. Sorry, I put my don't even up. fucking say that, cunt. I'm always, I always struggle with this. 
there's no communication zero no none and then i had to contact the facebook contact i had his email doesn't work anymore and all it does is send back an automated reply of this email is inactive please contact someone else at the company it's like what do you fucking mean i I want to but i don't know who to surely they need to come up with something for creators verified creators with a contact so they can really talk out brown 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 brown. you don't understand how it works brown they don't give a fuck about us we don't have a hr where people come up and go yeah you've got to stop this and that we've look we've got someone looking into it now so we'll see what happens but yeah we we could be facing some more reach restrictions so even more of a reason to support us on the fucking website and the website that's another thing on tuesday we rock up on tuesday and we get all these messages from people saying hey how come support's not replying to me and then we fucking find out call our website guys we're like oh the uh the email software that we use the gmail hasn't been sending it to that so our support has been missing emails so we had to like fucking fix that and then go through the whole backlog of emails and be like i'm so sorry um and then you know some people are trying to cancel and that was missed so obviously we had to refund those people it was just a fucking clusterfuck of shit but everything's fine with support now if you email support everything should be fine my god so sick of these fucking Stresses, bro. When it storms it's what hurricanes. It's what happens when you guys own a business. Man, this is so much that shit. But like, also, fucking. Just want to make give videos. Us a break social media. Yeah, just so me. many rules. Everything's rules. We should all just fucking, you know, have a. We've signed up to bloody <laughs> Rumble. We, Rumble. Oh, we've we've signed Rumble. up to Rumble because, and we're gonna like, yeah, like that. Net, surely there's gonna be a platform soon where there's a bit more less censorship because well, well, I don't even know what that. video that we've we dumb our shit down so much for social media and n- even that's not good enough anymore hence why I said what I said at the wedding um, and yeah that's pretty much what else was there to talk about um, I think there was one other thing um, I've second. got some news oh, oh. Um, um, are you what are you in a trouble? You're in a cult. Um, oh, you want to talk about last week's Bachelor Brown? And have you? I've been speaking. Um, we had a few chats. Is there? Have you? We decided out. No, we didn't do I, that. Sorry. We decided we we're going to catch up. <gasps> Wait. Oh my god. So, so we you, are Cupid. You we are, and what did we call? Yeah, you're not week? Cupid. Yeah, I, we just spoke for ages and holy shit i to told you up. bachelor brown will work look that's great news but we do have another bachelor brown this I know. evening I know. it's good to have options 100 percent. it's good to have options and then you can make the others jealous and it fires up the passion and you can mince all over a fucking 20 tits a night if you want brother and that's what we're here for we want your mints all I, over tits in brisbane i did upset ali when i bumped her out of the top five. Oh, really yeah see you can't that's yeah you've got to be aware of feelings pre- hard decisions to make Greg wouldn't be worried if you said fuck yeah, off she's, Greg she said um, so I can't believe you chose Greg over me <laughs> but I'm sorry Ali you are I do like her she's cool now you know how The Bachelor the show on the show The Bachelor must feel no nah, it's exactly the same they don't yeah, have a it is. no it they is. don't have a it's actually this is The Bachelor uh, Brown yeah it's Channel 10 this is on Channel 10 I think but I got other news that's it worries me. Have you me. got cancer? No. Have you got oh. tumors? <laughs> no. Oh shit, man! Don't say that. No. Why would you joke about that? Well, Matt? it's anyway. Can you just hear me out? Are you pregnant? No. <laughs> <laughs> hear me out. So, I was um, I was watching your your um uh, your uh, video questionnaire with your members. Oh, the live. The live. Yes, the live. So. I was watching that and I was just listening in and um, and you guys brought up the mince bottle. And I was like, fuck, I gotta go check on that. I can't find it. Oh no, Matt. Don't I say you lose Matt. the mince bottle. I, well, I thought it was in a bag where I thought I put it and it's not there. It's gotta be somewhere. And now Julian said he's gone through my room and it's mysteriously gone. As Maybe he wants, would he's not trying take- to fucking impregnate himself. I don't know. I doubt he would have picked it up and taken it because it was fucked. I've got photos of like Yeah, halfway. but Julian's in- You were halfway. Yeah. Holy fuck. Man. Dude, you got to take more care. <laughs> I just, I, 
We've oh. moved, and I and I realize I haven't seen it since we moved. That could inseminate an entire country, and you've lost it. Yeah, wow. You could. Know, have there's two got, horses outside. Yeah, people are becoming the- more and more infertile, and you just had the solution in a it, bottle. Like, um, oh. I can show you the photo at the end of the podcast. It's no, no, no I'm not accepting that. We have, we must find I it. I don't know where it is. We must find it, or you need to start again. I panicked last night. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, it's got to be somewhere. My Last knees. Julian, but it's got to be somewhere. Yeah. My knees are on fire, by the way. Yeah. Today, My God. Oh, yeah. Can you go through? T- oh. Today, Michael and I filmed a video called Torture Chess, where if you get one of the other person's pieces out, you have to do a punishment. And one of the punishments was kneeling in um, a bucket of uh, stinging nettle. And that's the first time we've used stinging nettle in our video videos. <laughs> And like that was like five hours ago, and our knees are still fucked. Exactly the same. Is it a? Pl- it's just a plant. It's like if you don't move them and let them sit, the 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 ringing, the stinging becomes so intense, and then you move them and shit, and it goes away and slowly flares back up again. Very strange feeling. It's, yeah. Anyway, I Michael, m- oh, I won't give yeah, away too yeah, much, yeah, but yeah, one of yeah. us, um, there's lots of spitting involved, <laughs> spitting in each other's faces. There's gel blasters, and if someone gets branded. The loser gets branded with a hot, red hot fork. But that's only for the University of Michael. Yeah, well, obviously, we post that on social media. Deleted. Yeah, they would call the cops. I reckon Facebook will call the Nicole. Nicole. Anyway, that's our fucking shit talk and fucking we got fucking six more episodes before the finale. <laughs> I'm at stumble like a fleur. All right, let's get these sponsors. <laughs> All right. You know what? It's hopeless. <laughs> well, we have something to mention about this too. It's like have a stand up. You at home. Stand up. Stand up and have a look down at yourself. Have a sniff. How did it get that bad? Where did you go wrong? A long, long time ago, I bet. Mistake after mistake has led to you being a disgusting piece of fucking shit. Gross. Fucked. Alone. Yuck. Desperate. Cunt. Gronk. Go to manscaped.com if you want to turn your life around, you fucking worthless dog pig. Go to Manscaped, have a look at their male grooming products and use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 for 20% off. Buy everything. They've got ball shavers. They've got soaps and scum and, and ball wipes so you can get sucked off on a bus. You can't. You won't get sucked off on a bus without ball wipes. It's also vegan, dye-free, gluten-free, paraben-free, alcohol-free, cruelty-free, and phthalate-free. So it's healthy. Right, uh, it's fucking right. healthy. You pour yourself a glass with a couple of ice cubes and sip at the body wash because it's fucking good for you, cunt, and you are a smelly dog pig, cunt. And also make sure you throw that up because I don't think you can drink it. You cannot drink it. Yeah, do not drink it. But, but you can use it to better your life. Wash. Fuck! It's a daily nourishing formula. And it's also for women. And for women. We and use it. Primarily for women. Like it's for women. No, for... For? For... Whoa. Whoa, man. The like, shaver is like the best thing I've ever... I'm not talking shit. It is the best shaver I've ever had. But oh, by the way, mm. we, we um, did see this um, recently. Um, when you buy stuff from Manscaped, um, just be careful when you're buying shit at the bottom, the default setting it ticks is, is selected that you sign up for the subscription. So they just send mm. you shit monthly. If you don't want to sign up to the subscription, just keep an eye out for that because some people have accidentally been signing up. Unclick that. Yeah. And so, then so what do you get with a subscription? But yeah, Manscaped. Yeah, the new blades. Oh. Manscaped.com, fully actual 20 for 20% off. And then you can stop being what you are. Because right now you are unacceptable, cunt. <laughs> fair, fair. And of course, our other sponsor is the University of Michael, where we post weekly fucked videos shit we can't post to social media and this while you're listening to this right now the pirate video would have come out who's a better pirate when Michael and I get in a lake on a blow up p- fucking pool 
and all of our friends throw shit at us and shoot spud guns at us and just fuck us up and we see who the better pirate is it's crazy not only our friends but also one website member one website member rhino shout out to you if but you, I wasn't there. There's a, there's all, your, you said all your friends are there. Exactly, man. I wasn't either. Yeah, because you're not a website member. Do you understand? You were in your concrete tower <laughs> with puppeteering all your employees. Put concrete here, put concrete there. <laughs> Sculling concrete for lunch, <laughs> cunt. Mm. But if you want to see if you like the content, we have a 21 day free trial where you can watch these 220 videos. And if you like it, you can stay on. If you don't, you can fuck roll off, cunt. It's $7.99 US a month, or you can upgrade to the premium and be entered into the monthly giveaways and receive extra content. Mm, on with the show, bro. We got Prank Call, we got Bachelor Brown, we got Lying to Greg. Mm. It's a bit of a Hail Mary. Yeah, but to Greg. We'll, we'll, see, see, what, we'll, we'll see what the real lie is. It's your oh. father, Greg. Yeah, the, really? that's the lie. That's the lie. We got you. <laughs> Boom. Oh, done. Oh, that's done. Was done. <laughs> and um, that's it. Oh, yeah. And, and all the other shit, too. <laughs> so um, uh, how are we going with uh, planning for life? We haven't started that yet. We should probably start that. I reckon maybe even tomorrow I might start that. Because um, First things first, we need a venue. If there's anyone listening who has a venue where in Brisbane where we could host the season finale that seats, I'm going to say 100 people. Mm, 100 is good. Then uh, let us know. people. Let us know. Comment in the comments, all right? Which reminds me, we are also running a comment competition, okay? We're going to pick one comment at random from this entire season to win $1,000 on the season finale. All right. So the more times you comment, the more entries you have. Do you understand? It just makes math sense that you comment as many times as you can. The more times you comment, the higher your chance of winning. Enough. And also, we're just going to pick a random one at the end of the season. So just comment, and then there's the one off yeah, with yeah, the cow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've also got a very interesting PO box this week. Yeah, it, Brown. this is freaking me a, out. a bit of a like a, a like a rectangular. What's that mean? Often. Öffnen. Öffnen. Means open in German. And it sounds so like a liquid. It's German. Turn it upside down and uh, put it up to the mic. It's fucking mustard gas. So turning something off is opening. Öffnen. <laughs> like it's the opposite. It's so stupid. That is stupid. You know, English invented their language after Germany. So maybe yeah, they shouldn't fixed, have thought of that we, word. We fixed it up. Oh, there, yeah, is something. there is liquid in there. Oh, I'm very worried. Yeah, so we got but that excited. to look forward to as well. But excited. But excited. Often. Often. But excited. Often. All right, let's uh, move right along, everyone. Let's get um, um, on to on this day, hey? Before we do that. Oh, no. Who's here? Bong! No, just kidding. We're not having any bong breaks this week. Mm. Yeah, but you got to give the people one. Bong break! And we're back. And get some water. <laughs> I know you're hurting. Uh, you guys can come back again. Feel like you're uh, learning. <laughs> Man, my fucking knees are fucked. I can't get relaxed. It's just constant. This is shit life right now with knees leave like this. I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. See if it just levels out. It'll... Oh, it sort of comes and goes. In waves, it always does. It always does. Are you having a, a, a break? We're having a bong break. Well, we're having a bit of a break from uh, piss and weed, to be honest, and mm. it's been quite rough. Oh, man. The weed. Anyway, and we're back. All right. On, on, on this day. On, on, on this day in 1988, the queen gave birth to her 16th corgi. It clawed its way out of her pussy and she breastfed it at once. The corgi grew into Prince Charles over the coming weeks and she continued to breastfeed him well into the 90s. Prince Charles is a pedophile. 
and I'll stand up, cunt. I'll fucking stand up for domestic violence. I'll press my chest out and clap hard for this shit, bitch. Back off! No, oh, we'll go, man. We gotta beep. <laughs> what? It's what the queen? It's probably a view. <laughs> oh god! His brothers. Yeah, his brothers fucked. You can go there. <laughs> Prince Charles is definitely a pedophile. Oh, is that what you want to bleep out? I don't know. I just is that the part? The queen stuff's all right, right? Yeah. Well, you wrote it, so if you're second guessing it while you're writing it, then don't say it. Or did you not get it from reliable sources? <sighs> Matt Brown, you wrote this, so you will feel the ramifications. I like that word. Sorry, ramifications. Anyway, all right, time for a, a random diary of mine that I found from when I was a small little German boy. Energy, energy, energy. Excuse me? Energy. Energy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Diary entry number 18,259,832. Today, mum bought me a new school shirt. It's second hand and two sizes too small. So mum stretched it longer. She kept stretching it and now it's a strange shape and looks really faded. I wore it to school and the teacher made me stand at the front of the classroom and yelled at me. Then he told me to put a new shirt on. I told him I didn't have another shirt and the teacher told me to get something from lost property. The only thing in lost property was a girl's dress. I wore it and at lunch the year seven boys beat me with sticks. It was a pretty good day. <laughs> That's why you wear the dresses now. It's like yeah, Well, I wasn't aware that there was like clothes had a different gender when I was a child. No one ever told me that. How, how yeah. many of them were there with sticks beating you? Like nine from memory. <laughs> the sticks varied in thickness. Would they snap? One had a log. <laughs> one one had a tree. Yeah, a really strong oh kid. God. An entire twenty meter long tree stump. It was a tree. Yeah, he pulled it out of the ground. A living oak tree. Oaky doke. <laughs> anyway, um, it's time for Michael's Bible, everyone, which is um, where Michael writes down all of his fucking wisdom. Okay. Um, and he fucking um, uh, he uh, reads it for us all his wise wisdom so while he's reading this don't refer to him as Michael he prefers to be called Beezus instead of Jesus he's Beezus he's a god listen all hail Beezus <clears throat> sorry this isn't even a chapter not really that's what the chapter's called he's going rogue Onions make you cry. Infections give you styes. Nine rhymes with nine. And cake is sort of like pie. So I walk a little slower and I try to catch your eye. Sometimes it's so hard to see the good things passing by. There may never be a sign. No flashing neon light. Telling you to make your move when the time is right. Fla la 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 la. What a beautiful ending to that. Um, mm -hmm. it was not expecting it. Yeah. Really quite a contrast, yeah. isn't it? That was well written. <laughs> Shout out to Hillary Duff. <laughs> 110% that is. <clears throat> so, All right. All right, it is time. There we go. <sighs> Fuck me. Here we go. <sighs> it's time, Matt. Holy fuck, it's time again. Uh, it's time for, for Matt Brown's black book, okay? And this is where he has detailed every single one of his fucking sexual experiences that he's ever had in his life. They are grotesque. They are fucked. They are 100% true. Matthew Gregory Bound, you pig. You pig of a man. Got it. 
Und <clears throat> God, I'm, I get so nervous for these. Yeah, it's spellbounding. Well, I just don't know how I'm going to feel after. Sometimes I just want to cry. I got sore knees. Okay. Matt Brown's Black Book. I have number 68. Carl, Carl, Carl. I was drinking hand cream while watching myself in the mirror. <laughs> This was the happiest I'd been in years, I thought to myself, as I squeezed another large mouthful of the hand cream down my throat. I decided to continue with my training, so today I was going to the gym. I packed my little brown bag and bounded backwards to my favorite gym across town. Once there, I immediately got on the treadmill and put it on the highest speed. Then I began running on it. Backwards, of course. I could maintain a full backwards sprint for well over an hour. However, during my workout, something caught my eye across the other side of the gym. I saw a woman with burns covering 80% of her body. She had one arm and no legs. She was completely bald except for a small tuft of hair on the side of her head. She was the most beautiful amputee I had ever seen. She was sitting in a wheelchair and attempting to remove a small weight from the rack with her one arm. I saw my opportunity and turned my treadmill off. I slithered over to her and flared my gills. Would you like some help? Oh, yes, please. Could you grab the three kilo weight for me? I handed her the weight and stared at her scarred head. <laughs> it's okay. You can ask me what happened. A little embarrassed, I tried to play it off. Oh, oh <laughs> what, what, what do you mean? About my burns and missing legs and arm. <laughs> oh, 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 I hadn't even noticed. <laughs> right. Well, it was a car accident. I fell asleep at the wheel and crashed into a petrol station. It exploded and my entire body caught fire. I was in a coma for three months. Oh, well, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? <laughs> I said stupidly. I don't do well with uncomfortable conversation. Yeah, it was really silly. Anyway, that was four years ago, so here I am trying to rehabilitate myself with the body I have now. Well, that's inspirational. I went through a similar event when my mother killed me. I had to go through hell to stay alive. Oh, wow. It's rare to meet someone who went through a similar near-death experience. <laughs> My name's Cuckleck, anyway, she said with a smile. <laughs> nice to meet you, Cuckleck. I'm Matt Brown. We chatted for hours, right there in the middle of the gym. I steered our conversation towards sex, as I was curious if she still got drilled. So with all your injuries, can you still be, like, intimate? What, you mean sex? <laughs> Hell yeah, I can. I mean, I haven't since the accident. Who would want to be with me now? I'd probably have to pay someone. <laughs> you mean you haven't been with anyone since your accident? That's crazy. And don't be so fucking stupid. Any man would be lucky to split your puffy slit. <laughs> That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me. You really think someone would want to be with me? Cuckleck, I'm certain of it. I mean, I mean, I would, in a heartbeat. We stare at each other, and a smile creeps on her face, and she looks around. <laughs> Do me- Okay! I grab her remaining tuft of hair and lift her out off her wheelchair. I sprint to the disabled toilet and toss her in and slam the door behind us. I rip my clothes off in one movement and turn around. She's lying on the ground with her one arm keeping her up or upright. I advance on her and grab her disfigured head and feed my huge, smooth testicles into her mouth. She sucks on my balls as my throbbing cock sits on her forehead. Suck harder! I command. She obeys and my balls stretch and stretch all the way down her throat. I can see panic in her eyes as they stretch so far down that I can feel her stomach acid digesting the tip of my balls. I pull her head back and my balls retract out of her and sling back into their original position. I grab her tuft of hair and reef her up onto the vanity. I rip her clothes off and dislocate my own jaw. Then I proceed to wrap my mouth around her entire lower half of her body so the burnt stumps where her legs were and her hips filled my mouth. Then I began sucking on her. What the fuck are you? I ignore her and keep sucking. I fondle at her burnt chest where her tits used to be. Then I pull back, leaving my slimy saliva dripping off her gash. By now, my little brown is so hard, it's about to explode. I grab Cucklack's shoulders and guide her onto my now quivering brown. I enter her, and the fact that she has no legs allows me to drive deeply into her cervix. Once I had her skewered on, I start fuck-thumping like I've never done before. I'm pulling her into me, 
but pounding forwards like a jackhammer. We maintain eye contact, and I can see she's confused at what's happening, but seems to be enjoying it. Then I start spinning her on my dick. Faster and faster I spin her. I spin her so fast that she becomes a blur and starts making a humming sound. <laughs> The only thing protruding from the blur is her one outstretched arm. She spins so fast it starts to burn our skin. Smoke billows from our fuck holes. Then, like a gunshot, my ejaculate explodes from my body and shoots the spinning amputee straight into the wall. My mince powerfully hurtles from my cock hole, which has stretched as wide as a dinner plate. Cuck like is pinned against the wall under the force of my mince stream, and I'm screaming in pleasure as I empty myself. <laughs> Finally, my stream weakens and Cucklick drops to the ground, covered in my fuck chutney. I see her shocked face. What the fuck just happened? That wasn't sex, was it? I ignore her and just shrug. I take my clothes and walk straight out of the toilet, leaving the door open behind me so she can crawl back to her wheelchair. That's my workout done, cunt. Time to get home. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Spinning a lot up. <laughs> One arm is going round. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh my god. This, this book. I tell you. Holy <clears throat> shit. Oh fuck! It's um. We should probably do the lying segment next, oh. just quickly. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay, so that was the black book. We're now moving on to our <sighs> lying to Greg segment. It's we're usually lying to Lockie. We're just going to lie to our mates from now on. Now, Greg, I tried to get Greg onto the podcast this week. All right, he told me that he can't come on tonight because he's coaching a new student for the very first time. He stupidly told me that student's name, Peter. I have it ingrained into my fucking brain all right that lesson starts at 7 30 so i'm going to call greg now as peter's father and i'm going to see if i can get greg to come down to his tennis court then when he makes the walk all the way down i will call him again and then we'll tell him that we fucking wasted his time uh, yep. Yeah, so we're basically saying we rocked up early. Yeah. For yes. the lesson. Yeah. Now and I need. To, I, wait. There. You need a voice. What's Greg's your at father's his house. voice? What's yeah. I know. Yeah. Voice? That's what I was thinking. Oh, I he's, a, he's coming to the tennis court at his house. Yeah. Yeah. At well, his should, house. Yeah. Do you reckon he knows Brown's voice? He knows Brown's voice. I reckon you do it. Okay. Well, look. I, we need to think of a voice that he won't recognize because I've done this. We've done it so many times. Uh-huh. Um. So um. What about like if I go a really deep voice? No. 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 Hey, mate. It's hey, mate. Peter's father. It. No. It's too Darren. Um. Hi, hi, it's Peter. It's Peter's father here. Hi, hi, it's Jack here. I'm Peter's father. Um, oh, okay. So Has he so met Peter's what's, father? Do you know what Greg's address is again? Oh, fuck. Something no. Samson. Oh, we better not say it anyway. Mm. Um, um, oh, yeah. Um, hi, hi, it's Peter's father here. And, uh, hi, mate. Hi, mate. It's just Jack here, Peter's father. Yeah, it's too... It sounds very fucking Geppetto. What about... Hi, hi, uh, it's uh, Peter's yeah, father. Yeah, what if I'll do like well, a weird mix of fake. accents? Hi, um, it's Peter's father. Hi, here. Greg. Greg. Jack here, Peter's father. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah. That's pretty, yeah, that's pretty good. I'll just try to do professional voice. Oh, hey, Greg, is that Greg? Um, yeah, hey, it's uh, Jack here, it's no, Peter's I, father. I reckon it's too, uh, if, so my professional. Yeah, but your professional voice, you know. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, hi Greg, it's uh, just Jack here, Peter's father. Uh, we've just arrived early. We're a little bit early. Is that all right? We're happy to wait. That's not bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the best right, we can right, get. Right, right, That's right. as good as you've done. Here we go, here we go. Whew, fuck, I'm nervous. Yeah, right, yeah, there's yeah. a bit of a Hail Mary, but we'll see how we go. Oh. <sighs> okay, we got to focus. Don't laugh. We have to like hold this. We have to hold this shit together. Okay. <clears throat> Hey Greg, it's Jack here, mate. Um, Peter's father. We, we've just arrived a bit early, mate. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, we're just down at your court. We're happy to wait, there, mate. I know we're a bit early, so so don't rush yourself. I just thought are I'd you, let you know. Are you are you at uh, are you at? Yeah, mate. What I told you. That's that's it, mate. Yeah, we, I can see your tennis court. Where would you like me to park? Oh, look, just park out the just park out the front. Um, I'm just getting tidied up here at the moment. I'll be down there in a, probably about. 
few minutes. Just give us a few minutes, mate. Too easy, mate. Happy to wait. Thank you so much. Thanks. See you, see you bud. See you See, see you Thanks. shortly. See you. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. Okay, all right, good. Yeah. So let's just yeah. wait like two minutes and then I'll call him back. No, no, no. Wait a bit. So he's no, fully no, gone down no, there. because I don't want him to call to get down there and then call the actual fucking <laughs> dad. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, hang on, I'm here. No, no, let that happen. No, no, dude, no, 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 Let no, that no, happen, dude. so angry. Because <laughs> then it's like, oh, sorry, my, my mate's back. Yeah, no, that's too unprofessional. I can't do that to him. <laughs> we'll just wait two minutes. <laughs> and then I'll just say something like, um, yeah, I'll just go, oh, where, where would you like me to park? Because he said a few minutes. This is the best moment of my life. <laughs> I don't say that lightly. Dude, so I as never a, say as that. As you were doing it, I was like, fuck, oh, that, does, that sounds exactly as, like Marty. As a tennis coach, it's so annoying when, when people rock up early. Oh, yeah. you Because, like, you want to relax. And oh, you, there's yeah. nothing you can say. You can't say, oh, no, I just want to chill and watch TV. The same thing with meetings at work. Like, people rock up, like, 10 minutes early and you're like, you're like fuck, I was hoping to have that 10 minutes to yeah, myself. To have a lie down. Yeah. In my office. I don't have one. <laughs> 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 Oh man, I'm nervous. Oh, uh, uh, we've got it. Yeah, no, what, do do what do we do now? Like, she's like, yeah, I'm actually here. Like, keep going. Oh, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how long. Yeah, we'll see Has how long. Greg we got a dog. dog. Say, oh, <laughs> say that you're behind the big, big shed. The big shed to the right. I actually went into the shed. <laughs> inside you know the shed. shed. Like, I'm inside the shed. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll see it. We'll see. We can gauge it. All right. I'm gonna climb back now. Oh no, we'll wait another minute. One more minute. Oh, oh that's so nerve wracking. <laughs> fuck me. There's so much. What if he gets down there? He's like, fuck. He's like, he's like, <laughs> going, like yelling at his wife. He's here. I'm going to take care of it. There's so much Good, pressure on the, the lying kids. segment. He's running out. <laughs> yeah, dude. He probably, he's probably hit his wife now. He's <laughs> probably, probably fucking fully hit her because of what we've done. All right. I'm calling Maybe. him back. I'm calling. Oh my God. Here we go. <clears throat> oh God. What was the voice? Hey. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Yeah, hey, so Jack. Was my name Jack? Yeah. Hello, this is Greg. Hi, Greg. Uh, it's Jack again, mate. I'm um, just wondering where you'd like us to to, to park the car uh, over to the right, or um... I'm, I'm actually I'm actually just down at my court now, but um, I can't I can't actually see any lights or any cars. I think you might be in the wrong property, mate. No, I'm definitely in the. I'm just uh, I, I took a I veered right to the. Um, there's a bit of a shed. It looks like a shed with um, a bunch of crap. In oh. It. Crap, I'll, wait up, wait up. Let me just walk over there. I'll just see if I can see you, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll get Peter to get out of the car and get him to run over. Peter, yeah. Peter, why don't you, Peter, why don't you jump out of the car, mate? Just uh, run on yeah. over to the. I'm, um, I'm actually, I'm actually over there. I can't. Shut up! Shut up, Greg! <laughs> Shut up, Greg! <laughs> no. <Shut> up, Greg! <laughs> Fucking no. we got you, Greg! <laughs> No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, you're on the podcast, Greg. Oh, my God. You fucking idiot, Greg. You are wasting your time. You could be at home with your family and you are fucking down the courts doing nothing. I'm down here 15 minutes early. It's like a five you minute walk down. <laughs> By the how time you walk your... back up, you have to walk back down to the court. How much was your accent then? Dude. I didn't even think it was you. Really, dude? We were so no worried. I, I was... get you every time now. I was so worried that fucking you were going to call the actual parents and be like, oh, I'm here. Like, where are you? <laughs> no, well, I was just like, wait, I was like, wait up. Like, I was just looking around the property. I was like, this guy is somewhere. Like, I can't, I was looking at every van. I went up to my parents. I went up to the van. I, went to... I, was, I was going everywhere. <laughs> were you running? For this idiot. Huh? <laughs> were you running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we made Greg run. I mean, we made you run, Greg. Greg run. Greg run like this idiot. Is be, this is meant to be Lockie getting done, like lied to. Okay. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we're changing it because Lockie's on to us now. Yeah, lying to Greg now is more and fun. Matt. That's awesome. That's nice. That's nice. You've moved on to bigger things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, thank, thank you. Thank you because, you know, now I... Uh, now I just have, you know, 10, 15 minutes to do nothing. Okay, now, thank you. Greg, by the time you walk back up to your house... You may as well walk back You'll down. have to walk back down. So you may as well just stay there, Greg. God. <laughs> you are a jerk. <laughs> you, I, don't, I don't even want to talk to you guys anymore. Oh. <laughs> Greg, run, Greg. Yeah, sorry for wasting your time, Greg. Sorry, I'll Greg. Speak to you later, oh, mate. That's okay. You know, no worries. I'll talk to you later. And have a good podcast, okay? Bye. Thanks, Greg. Bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is honestly so good. That was the best moment of my life. I'm just picturing him running down. Like, I gotta go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, oh, oh man, that is like he's so. He dark. went over to the shed. So he went over to the shed. Oh my god. All right, oh. there you go. Another successful oh. lie. Anyway, let's move right along. Hey, let's um, <laughs> let's move on to one of our um, oh. most meaningful segments. From, from uh, a massive high to a massive low. Uh, this segment really means a lot to so many people um, because it's the search for- I knew, so I knew we were getting fucked with. What do you fucking mean? I already knew this was coming. I could hear people outside. What the fuck are you talking about? Nah, that was like an animal. Yeah, that sounded nah. like a fucking bird or some shit. Oh, just bring in whoever you fucking bring in. No, that's not us. And I fucking okay. swear nah. that's scary. And swear on our, swear on our friendship. How do you, we- swear on our friendship. I swear that nah. was not us. I could hear people before when I was getting water. There's fucking people outside playing nah. football. No, that was not us. Dude, right, I go outside and check. Ah, it was Greg. <laughs> we got you. The lie was on you, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> Greg's actually here. He's going to be on the podcast. Oh, that's such good news. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Greg. Greg, come in now. Good work, dude. What did he do? Throw something on the roof? Yeah, I'll get him in. Oh, it's so good. Fucking hell, I can't believe we just got mad. No. The lie was reversed on you. Oh. Yeah, 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 it's tough, isn't it? I, I struggle with it too sometimes. Oh, oh fuck, hey, man. Greg? Dude, that was fucking hilarious. Hang on, you're lying to me. Ah, oh, we got you again! No, 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 I was on that as soon as you walked out and started Yeah, it's talking. not fucking Greg, dude. What's that noise? I don't know. That was Are there any trees overhanging? No way you doubled up a lie on a lie on a lie to cover up for whatever that was. Well, dude, have a look. There's no fucking cars here. Did we, we, we got you a bit then, though. Well, that's so we've, we we've, a bit. we've succeeded in a double lie. You're going to be so scared here tonight. Greg was here. <sighs> the first one got me. The second one was pretty average. That was weird. That was actually... I'm creeped out for whoever's staying here tonight. Matt? It's not my night here at home. Just you alone. <laughs> I will be at Embers. Just fucking give it up. Whatever your fucking little game is. I promise you that we did fuck all then, but that was a good lie on the lie. Promise me, promise me on Amber's life. I swear to God, you on didn't, Amber. There's, you know, that nothing. roof shit on Amber's life. I swear on Amber's life. I swear on Mons. No, I've already sworn on Amber's no. life. If you don't you. trust me, then that's your own fault. Oh. Anyway, let's fucking move on. <coughs> That's the loudest sound I've ever heard of. That was creepy. Yeah, I know. What the so fuck? So many in the I thought you said there's like, always possums and shit flying. Yeah, not that fucking loud. That's like rocks on the roof. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Did you? They would. That would trans. No, that's probably. Isn't that what you said? There's always possums <laughs> fighting on the roof. Yeah, not that loud. That's like ro- someone just threw a bunch of rocks on the roof. Yeah, that was very scary. Look, you can hear <gasps> people now. Yeah, you can hear people down the court, but I could literally hear people like near the building before. You could hear people near the building, near and near the house. Near the house. I was, that's why it took so long because I was standing there. I was like, "Who the fuck is that?" I was trying to see where they were. You saw someone in. No, the- I didn't see them. I could hear people talking, and it sounded so close to the house. And that's why I was sort of standing there trying to listen. I've got the heebie-jeebies, eh? Are you fucking kidding me, dude. Dude, this is every night. What every night you hear fucking voices talking yeah, we, in the house? Yeah, we do hear some sometimes. Yeah, All right, well let's fucking do this. Well, that's, that's not a normal sound. We're near graveyard. That's not a normal sound on the roof. Yeah, that was. Man, that's that's a bit freaked out. Hopefully you can hear that on the on the mics. Oh, 100% you're going to be able to hear that. <sighs> All right. Well, should we move on? Yeah, let's just forget about that, eh? <laughs> so we're just going to push that to the back of our mind. Yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Jason's, just like my fucking childhood. Jason the serial killer is just sitting outside. Just like our childhood's gone. That is wiped I still out think of my memory. This is, I still have an inkling this is you guys fucking with me, but... I think he swore on like Amber's life. So yeah, did but he. you wouldn't swear on Mons. Yeah, I swore on Amber's life. Mm. If he swears on Amber's life, what's the difference? Yeah, I would not if it was fly like Lele. Maybe he doesn't Lele. know. I don't know. There, see? Told you. Someone fucking with us. Oh, oh my Just God. Just bring in 
Whoever you bring dude, in, I don't know he can't hold his laughter. Dude, that is not us. I'm someone wild. from the someone must know we fucking live here. Well, there's no one down there. I've locked the back door. The front door's open though. Okay, I've got like fucking. I've got tears in my eyes. I've got goosebumps. That is creepy as fuck, dude. dude we have to somebody, go outside. Somebody's fucking with us. What? It's just. It's probably fucking uh-huh. Julian. Oh yeah, maybe it's Julian. Who else would it be? There were no cars there though. Yeah, Wait. he'd park. He park where? Yeah, yeah. it's got to be fucking Julian. He parked down the back. Let's just turn all. Should we just? That's fucked. I'm shutting this curtain. Oh man, I don't know if we should just ignore this. I'm scared. What are you scared? Dude, you're a fucking grown man. Let's just someone. It's (sighs) Julian. Do you want me to go outside? I'll get scared by Julian. Well, can we film it on? Have we got another phone to film with? If we're going outside, <laughs> we'll okay. play, we'll, we'll we'll chip into the podcast. We're going to investigate. We'll what look is like going on absolute. Outside. We'll put this in the podcast. Go to the YouTube version if you're on Spotify because this is. We'll going look to get like freaky. absolute fuckwits walking outside dressed like this. Wait, let me delete. That'd be some pretty shit. funny to bash someone wearing what I'm wearing. Fuck, I'm shaking now. Are you yeah, that creep serious? The fuck out of me. That's yeah. That's man made. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, that freaked me out too. It's just a bug. Yuck, dude! I reckon someone's found out where we live and they're throwing fucking rocks. Well, I doubt that. You're smiling way too much. You're gonna, no, get, no, no, you're gonna no. get scared. Someone can. This one, the house sucks. It's because it, it's so dark outside that all the lights are on. You can't. Oh my god! Are right, we going let's outside? Go film, let's go film. Uh, I'll take the. Uh, the front door's open. Yeah, door's unlocked. Oh, I thought you meant it was like wide open. <laughs> Is this what happens every night, Matt? Yeah, every Bull night. shit, this happens every night. Not like this loud. Right, that door's locked, so I'm not worried about it. Is there light? All right, so now that you've seen that, so what happened just now? So earlier today, well, yesterday, I told Greg, I was like, God, oh, do you want to come on the podcast? And Greg said, yeah, okay, I'll come on. So now I said to him, don't tell Matt and Michael that you're coming on the podcast. And today, I hatched a plan that we're going to fake lie to Greg. And Greg's going to pretend that, oh, you got me. Oh, you fucking got me. And we'll all go off, you fucking idiots. Oh, we got you. We I fucking caught it the whole time. No, you didn't, Matt. I said it's either you or Julian. I can't believe it. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Michael was crying. I was so And scared. then, right, so Greg starts throwing the rocks on the roof, and Matt was sus, okay? Yeah, admittedly, he was sus. He had no idea, though. And then Michael even swore on Amber's life that he had nothing to do and with I it. And I suddenly just go, it's Greg. Yeah, yeah. So Michael sees Matt's suspicion and starts going, <laughs> oh, you're right, Matt. It is Greg. Greg, come on in, Greg. And I'm, like, messaging Greg, like, don't fucking come in. Ignore what you're hearing, because that would have sounded I so... I thought I heard that. Yeah. I thought I heard that out there, and I was like, oh, they, they know it's me. Then I was like, how? <laughs> Oh my <laughs> god. I, start, I was about to open the front door. I was like this, and he goes, I saw a message come through and it says, Don't come in, do it again. And I was like, <laughs> and no, no, he goes, hide. So I ran and hide and hid in your shed and, with the snakes, like looking around. Yeah. <laughs> and then I ran out, got some more rocks. I just wanted to lie to Matt about you being here. Yeah, yeah. So Michael's like, Greg, come on in, Greg. And me knowing that, yeah, that's true, it is Greg out there, I had to be like, oh man, that was fucking unreal. It would have been so weird for you. Yeah, yeah, it was hard to, yeah, I was like, I didn't really know what to do then. And then we're like, oh, let's go outside. And then Greg comes running in and fucking got them both. Oh you my God. Fucking See, I, knew, I, knew the fr- I knew the front door was the only door that was unlocked. That's yeah, why, you, that's I, saw, why I, was looking there. I heard you lock the back doors. I had to message Greg and be like, oh, he's, Matt's locked the fucking back door. Come yeah. through the front, cunt. I so, thought it was Julian. And what about everyone waiting at the front door to hit me? <laughs> <laughs> I should have had him go first. I had his milking I was still getting, ready. I was sort of pumping myself up because I was like, fuck, if this isn't Julian, this is definitely on. I'm definitely going to crack someone. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I if you didn't get if you didn't get in front of me, I would have gone out the door first, so and I would have hit him just in case. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Oh well, I had the God. camera too. Oh. 
So what, when, when you had the camera, did, did, did like they were they suspicious that now you'd set this up because you had the camera? No, no. I told him to just film because I was like, we got to go inspect and I wanted to include it into the podcast. Yeah, I wanted so to like, have oh, the like, reveal yeah, yeah, on yeah. camera. Yeah, it's a oh good idea. God. So that, that was, was like, that was crazy. a lie within a lie within a, wrapped in a lie that and was, fucking- And you just kept going with the lie yeah. too. Yeah. Like yeah. A weird that's triple back lie. That fucking backflipped hard, can't I? That's probably honestly the craziest moment of my life. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. No, I don't know. I don't say that lie. No, no. I, I agree I with never him. say that. No, I agree with yeah, him. Look, everything that we've done, that was insane. Some craze fan had wow. finally got us. Had oh, found man. you. Oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's so suspicious. I love the that's back. Like, I'm living here tonight. Yeah, I'm dude. This is every night bed. for me. This is nothing. Yeah, that's yeah. every. This is every night. I have these. Every sounds. night you think there is this some like sounds. Every weird. night I'm stalking the halls of the baseball bat, trying to look out the window. We and just, this is a very big house. This anyway, is a very big. Anyway, house. look. This is for those who don't know. This is Greg. All right. This is um. Greg, he has known Michael and I. He used to coach us when we were small women. When we were little 15-year-old women, he would coach us in tennis. Then he employed us as a tennis coach for many, many years. And now we're just fucking mates fucking 20 years later. Oh, yeah, chuck the, he- chuck the headphones on. So we got Greg on, everyone, so we can have a wow. chat to him because we're always calling him and That's fucking cool. with him. So we thought, let's get him on and have a chat to him. I can't believe it. I'm so glad Greg's yeah, here, Yeah, this is way. like, this is, oh, here it it's is. Christmas. It's very exciting. It's Christmas. Oh. All right, so yeah, we've Finally. known Greg since like, I was like, I was 15? fourteen when I met him. Yeah, so and now 14, I'm thirty-two. 15. So, so known we've known Greg, sixteen. Years. We've known Greg for more than half of our lives now. I think so. That's and fucking I think insane. I was, and I must. I think I was your number one fan. Yeah, he <laughs> always <laughs> when we were like. Darrow's, which we still are now, he was always supportive of fucking us. Yeah, doing what would do? What, what did you? What did you? What did the coaches and shit think of us when we were getting coached by all the coaches? We just thought you were the funniest, loosest kids we've ever coached. Like a lot of you may think that what they do here is actually just put on for the cameras, but. I can assure you that they were exactly the same as this at school. (laughs) Their whole life. If not, they may have toned it down a little bit now. Well, you got to for social media. (laughs) Well, that's true. Not for the website though, eh? Like, (laughs) like the, the, probably the the greatest moment would have been Michael. The bin. The bin. The Mm. bin. It's still, we still teach, we still tell this story to the kids at Kelvin Grove right now in the fact that, there was a stinky old bin which was like sort of made fun of because everyone used to throw their yogurt, their meat, their off anything and spit on it. Probably just splattered it all over it and it was it in the hot sun. Just baking. melting, baking every day. And everyone used to do it on purpose, just throw stuff around this lid to make Smell it manky. fucked. It was so bad. And Michael needed some drinking money for the weekend. Just $20 would do for a sack of goon. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. And so he's, so he's going, look, how much like for me to lick this bin and not just lick it, but like actually get your tongue out and like push it through all this yogurt and everything else. And we, we got together 20 bucks. That's all we could come up with <laughs> amongst the children. <laughs> and, um, Wait, are, you and a, are you a teaching coach at this point? And the coaches, yeah. Like we, it, it must've been after school hours. <laughs> Obviously not it during, during school, school. time. No. But um, <laughs> Yeah, and then uh, everyone was egging him on, and then so I didn't. We actually didn't think he would actually do it because it was that disgusting. And food poisoning. Like oh, it was so many poisoning. things. Natural I immunity. Actually, I actually started. Like, I think I actually started probably saying to you, "Look, when you when I thought you were going to do it, like, nah, don't be silly, Mike. Don't do it, mate. That's that's ridiculous." Because I didn't <laughs> think he would get to that point, but then he did. And not only like did he lick it, he just like got so into it, like pushing it around <laughs> with his tongue, like. Well, it didn't even just do it half ass, like full, full on. Yeah, you could have gone away. He could have gone away with a lot less. Just like a ge- the tip of his tongue. I can, just- I, can, I, can, I can just envision it now. All this like manky yogurt and off oh. stuff just being pushed around the bin by his tongue. Alan, another coach of ours, he was dry reaching <laughs> on the court. Like I can still remember. Like, he was just on court, he like was. dry reaching over and over again. Could not stop <laughs> puking at the thought of what he was doing. <laughs> Yeah, it's just one hell. of many great stories, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, man. it got me my goon money and I had a good weekend. So yeah. it was worth yeah. it. And, yeah, as I say, it's good for the immunity. That is so oh. true. That's why you are the man you are today. I'm very brave. Very brave. And then so and then we moved to coaching for you. Mm. And we were quite young when we started coaching for you. How were we as, as, as coaches for you? We were very honest, weren't we, all the time, if we thought, if we're like, look, we're not in the mood today. 
We're not going to do a good job. Like, not just (laughs) like every now and then, every day, (laughs) they would tell me that they're not coming to work. (laughs) (laughs) They would be like, Greg, we're not coming. We're not coming. We can't do it. Or we're not going to try hard. We're We're not going to try. 20% of our effort. We're going to give you 20% effort today, Greg, if we can't. Just letting you know, we're not going to do a good job. And if it was like overcast a bit, we were like, we can't work like this. (laughs) I remember Michael would ring me like four hours before he's lessons were meant to start and go hey uh do you think it's gonna rain this afternoon <laughs> like there's like one cloud like and if it <laughs> rains you don't get paid but we just did not want to coach that bad and usually you still have to go in miss our money yeah it's sometimes you still have to go in and just look after the kids and not get paid but we just would prefer that over fucking coaching man holy oh. shit but, but can i just say that they were actually very very good at coaching because I think they were like, they could get themselves down to the child's level of <laughs> intellect. And they were like, the kids loved them. Their retention rates, which means like how many kids come back each term were at the highest levels. Yeah, we like, had the highest retention rates. Yeah, you kiss heaps of them. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're above oh. 18s. The kids the, coming yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. The, the college <laughs> students, yeah. No, but- What was their, um, what was the job interview like when oh, you were mate, hiring, there was no, like, there was no, like, what was yeah. the conversation? It's like, like, Greg, we need a job. <laughs> that's, that's it. I think I employed you guys when you were in your, like year 11 and 12. When they we did, were kids. They did the hot yeah. shots and they sort of, you know, got their way up into the business from when they left year 12, sort of like the, the next step. Actually, I think Michael decided he was going to go to the army. Yeah, I did. One uh, of the, two, one two of weeks. the funniest things because we were like, Michael in the army. We, M- Marty and I are like, yeah, we'll just let him go. And then, <laughs> so he's off to the army and about like literally three weeks later, I get this call from Marty and he's like, hey, um, Greg, what say like, um, you know, Michael just might want to come back to coaching. Um, you know, just just for, for maybe um, would there be a job vacant still for him? And uh, I was like, he wants to go, doesn't he? <laughs> and he? And he's like, Marty's like, yeah, mate, he can't stand it. He's like, he's literally like, too ready many to rules. Go out. Oh. It's just too many rules. <laughs> oh, <laughs> three weeks is pretty good. So I got him back. I got him back. So. And also that year, my parents moved back down to Canberra, so I had nowhere to live. So I was homeless and then Greg took me in. Yeah, yes. Put him in Greg's granny flat. And oh, yeah, man, there were some stories there oh, too. Oh, the granny flat. Man, I would we would have this game our asses yeah, we'd off. We'd coach till night and then we'd go back to Greg's with, with fucking snacks sugar, and shit sugar. and just game all night in this fucking little granny flat with one pull-out lounge that we just always slept on. And Michael pissed on sometimes. So many yeah. times. We also went traveling with you to tournaments. Yeah, oh, we did yeah, a couple of tournament travelling trips. Played some yes. doubles tournaments together. <laughs> yes. We didn't win, but no. fuck, we had some fun. I remember, yeah, I remember you guys like uh, nearly got us kicked out of the hotel because um, just just to like give me that like sort of uh, wow moments, I guess. Like straight as we get in there, you just start like, I think, pissing on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and then like just started just just put his pants just started. And I'm like, guys, stop, stop. Like, you can't do that. I and still remember. The next, the yeah, next we morning, woke up. The next morning, they've thrown both their mattresses outside because they had piss over them. So they're out. So both their mattresses are on the balcony outside. And then the manager of the hotel comes up knocking on the door. And I think he spoke to you, didn't he, or someone? Yeah, she's, she's, you've gotten too pissed and pissed yourselves. I was like, <laughs> and no, then, I've got a problem. Like, it's actually, we wouldn't get drunk. It was just, I've got a problem. And then, and then they're like so apologizing mad. to Michael a little bit because they're like, look, he's, oh, he's yeah. got a problem. He's I, got like, learning you know, difficulties. Yeah, yeah. I can't read all right. Like, yeah. it's just, it leaks. Yeah. And so they, they apologized, but they were still so angry. Oh man. And then we fucking and then we left coaching to start the videos and early on with the videos like fuck me we were like getting nowhere for so long and we were just pumping them out and, and they were so funny like I thought that was funny so I was like why aren't other people finding these as funny Yeah everyone around us all of, like even like close friends family everyone was like like what are you guys doing like yeah, give go, up. yeah fucking go get a normal job this is ridiculous but Greg was one of the only people who fucking stayed strong and fucking kept supporting us and there were times when I borrowed large amounts of money from you so that we didn't fucking go under Yeah yeah yeah. I call Greg and be like, like, Greg, I need a thousand dollars right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then Greg, you fucking every time. I don't know when I'll be able to pay you back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember oh, those man. conversations. Yeah, I think we owed you like 5K for like yeah, that years. Was a fi- that was 5K yeah. that, yeah, I owed you for a while, but then I 
Yeah, to- but you, you, yeah, you did pay it back. Yeah. But like, the, it's, it's so ironic because I thought that you were going to make it. I always thought that you were going to, because I was like, if anyone's going to do it, these guys are the two that will do it. Like, because it's not put on. It's actually mm. what they were. It's not like them just making this up. They were that funny every time I was around them. And the dedication to it too. Cause I remember every Thursday they do a live, a Facebook live thing where they hurt each other. And I was like, there's no way this can't take off at some point. It was either that or death. Yeah. Well, yeah. And then, and then like, yeah, literally when it started to take off, um, I was like, yes. And I was literally proud of them. Yeah. yeah. If you can be yeah, proud of these mm, two. He's like, a, yeah, he's like a proud father, Greg. Is. Sort of. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> he used to teach us. Yeah. I guess you've been by our side for over half our lives. And I must say we love Greg yeah, so much. It, Greg looks exactly the same yeah, as when you exactly did when well. we first. Hey, you don't coach. age, dude. I do. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. My kids have aged me. How old were you when we were getting coached by you? Early 20s? So, how many years before? So, I would have been... 16 years ago. Yeah, so I would have been like 22. Wow. Yeah. 10 years younger Greg, than me tw- now. I can't even yeah. picture a 22 year old. He had a Ripco white watch. Oh, yeah. that's right. <laughs> and I looked up oh, to I him. I was, was like, so cool. that is the sickest watch even myself. And I got my, my own one when I got my first job at like 16. <laughs> and now like I would, yeah. What did your family think of Michael when he was living in the granny flat? Um, like, I mean, my parents are so nice that they—they are the most lovely. Like they, I mean, girl. they. <laughs> and shout they, out to you guys! Thank you so much. <laughs> Hopefully, they're not watching this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still go to their property every few weeks just and to film, film like, <laughs> and it's not like PG shit. We're either blowing up stuff or dressed as like weird pirates in their lake or <laughs> shooting guns at each other, blowing up deodorant bombs. Oh. Yeah. But you think Greg's by our side. Yeah, always, yeah. (laughs) Just in case anything goes wrong. (laughs) But yeah, mum and dad think it's pretty funny, actually. Oh, do they watch the vids? Oh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, well, they they probably look out the window and see it happening. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) there they are again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should show them some of our website videos. I'd love to see their reaction. They get really worried. Like, (laughs) I heard a lot of explosions. Are they okay? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they just blew up about 100 deodorant (laughs) cans. (laughs) <laughs> like, oh, oh, there's, there's a there's a massive crater in the property now <laughs> from the deodorant can. Yeah. Oh. Have you have you ever spoken to your parents about why they named you Greg? Oh, I think I have. I, I've told my mum on numerous occasions how disappointed yeah, I was that is with a, their naming choice. It's such a Greg such a disadvantage Greg in life. Ree. So, Such a disadvantage. And then, and then Charles in the middle. Gregory Charles. Oh, yes. the middle. <laughs> it's like Bogan. What? Fancy. And then Bogan. It was, it was actually named after, I think, my grandfather's. Or, yeah, like. It is an uh, old. Gregory name. Buckle. It was funny. Name. I heard a funny story from your wife. She said, like, or you told me what she said. You were sitting in bed, and there's this little segment that comes up. I think it was a flashback of one of the podcasts. And it's like just us hacking into Greg's name. Yeah, and just I just—that was the first. I was just like, "What is going on here?" Just <laughs> oh, Greg this, and we thought Greg it was that. you, but it was with they hacking at my dad. Yeah, they're hacking at your dad. My middle name. And I was like, "Listen to this, babe." <laughs> And like, and they're just hacking into Greg, Greg, and it sounds Greg. like a noise. It's like it. Oh, yeah, well, it she is. loved it. And she thought, yeah, she was like, yeah, she, yeah, she thinks it's awful as well. It don't is. Know, don't know why she married me. It's like your name does not match your soul. Yeah, hundred no, percent. His no. name should be like, um, like Thomas Finch. I, I don't know how to spell that, but. Yeah. Oh. It's just a sound. And fucking, man, we played some ass too. Fucking, oh, we coach all you, night and then we'd wait for all, all the kids to fuck off. And then us three and um, one of the other coaches would play ass. And Greg and the other coach were much better at tennis than Michael and I was. And Michael and I would just get fucking <laughs> hammered by tennis balls. And fuck, that was when it sort of, that's when oh. some of it started. I loved hitting Michael as hard as I could in the ass. Oh, I'm still, I still have it burned to my... And not only that, you guys took it always to the next level. Like instead of serving from the baseline in tennis, where you're meant to be serving from, you're like, no... That's too hard. Like, and not enough, not enough pain is gathered. Let's serve from the net. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, literally only like, a, like three three meters. Meters, a three meter distance to smash the other person. So it's guaranteed pain. 
And we're like these. We're like at the time, we're probably serving one one ninety k's straight yeah. into your butt, like or hitting you anywhere on the body, and you just just still do the same thing. Run around the court, like you, you still do the run. Actually, like you get injured, you know, it helps. Actually, I think this video will be out now. It just came out on Sunday on the website. Who's the better pirate? We filmed it at Greg's property. Oh, yeah, we did too. Greg is in the video, and Greg is hitting tennis balls at us. And there is a moment, and I fucking hope Julian got this, where Greg launched a serve. And it went straight into oh. my eye. I immediately knew that from it hit like you. Tw- from like twenty meters away, less than it popped you right in the right in the eye. And I was like, oh no! It rocked me, and I was like, oh, I, I think and I've got to stop could, for a while. I could see that it rocked him, and I actually felt bad. I was like, oh no! It was, and a I was like, should I just gone. slow things down a bit? And you're like, no, nah, keep going. <laughs> yeah. Once I realized that my eyes, like, I can see, I was like, yeah, oh. keep it coming. Yeah, yeah, fuck, man. It is enjoyable. Remember, we um we even started like sometimes we'd come over to Greg's um and play fucking um catch, catch and, and rape. rape. Oh, yeah. that's it's true. Such a weird fuck. It's like it's it's hide and seek, but you the person seeking is like it's this so character. Scary. And do you remember there was also we'd <laughs> we'd get on fucking one of those dating apps or something, and oh. we would take photos. And we'd leave my face out, but real <laughs> gross <laughs> fucked photos of my cock and balls. <laughs> and as soon as we got a number from one of the chicks on the dating app immediately the first thing we would send is this disgusting <laughs> fucked up dick pic every single time <laughs> no, 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 but, fully loved it no but the funniest thing was the stuff that you would say like to start I'll try the and conversation get it back. no no just the weird stuff that you would say like like the, the first line would be I just killed my cat. <laughs> like but just I, something totally it, I loved how he'd be so vulgar and vile, but then like the game was trying to like win like back their trust yes. and hope of it. <laughs> he would say, it'd be like he had Tourette's as he was doing it. Like I'm say so something sorry. so bad and then go, I'm so sorry. I'm new to this. I don't know what I don't know what and I then, should be saying. And then they go, after a while, they go, oh, okay, th- okay. Well, how are you anyway? Boom, massive bug. <laughs> <big thing>. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck me. oh fuck we had some fun but, but yeah catch and rape in greg's house because it's a perfect house for catch and rape it was so scary i remember the character the character yeah, marty would get into like say like a lonely scary. priest or like a, a, a like a, a, a farmer who's just lost his wife yeah. and like we give him the background story that he has to follow and he comes in and he, he'll start like dragging his stick or something oh. as he's got like a bung and, leg and then me and greg will be in the closet just giggling away <laughs> yeah, greg always gave it away greg always <laughs> going away I hear him laughing he'd be saying some of the most hilarious things and and like moaning loudly like he's like ready to like it actually made me think he was actually going to do something and sometimes he'd get you and he'd full finger you and hump you and like he'd lick your ear and shit and you you felt like you were being proper assaulted yeah well you gotta make it so you don't want to get caught yeah yeah because it's terrifying it's so terrifying but so funny (coughs) so it's like the best mixture for a game because you you want want that scare factor but you also want to like have that those laughs yeah. So try that at try home. Try that at home. It's, you can, it's you a have great to call, game. You don't have to call family it. family game, isn't it? Yeah, you can yeah. call it catch and hump to make it more or just, or just, like politically correct. Or just catch and uh, stalk or something like yeah, that. Catch you, and do stalk. you know what I mean? Stalk yeah. and catch. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, something else other than the, more um, PC. the rape. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, no, it's good to see. <laughs> fuck, we've had some good times with Craig. Yeah, oh, fucking oath so we have, cunt. It's about time we got him on because, fuck, we prank call the fuck out of him. You do. He's you our really go-to for when we need just some quick bit of fucking fuckery. Bit of content. Yeah. You played that prank call off so yeah, well. I did. fully thought yeah, we got we, him. I, I was oh, like, we've done so many of them. Him. I just know what to say now. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, yeah, they always get me, so I'll just act oh. like they got me. Oh, and no. you two fucking oh had him hook line and I was sinker. like I, I, you'll be able to see on the camera I was like tearing up scared and I was getting goosebumps I can't goosebumps. wait to see that whole thing back I yeah. can't believe Michael started going yeah it is Greg Matt Greg come on in yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why, that's what I thought I heard you went you would have been I, was like, I would love to see your reaction yeah cause I'm like, I'm like, like I sort of like, had to go along with it I'd be like yeah Matt yeah Greg's out there yeah come in how Greg. did you think those noises were normal no, so well, loud. Yeah, but they're the louder than the normal ones. Oh, yeah, right. By the way, there's going to be a fair few rocks in your cut up. Yeah, that's uh, all right. You know what Marty that's said right. first today? He goes, Break smash a window. a window. He goes, throw a brick through the window. <laughs> oh my. And I'm like, God. I'm like, I was yeah, going to get him no. thrown through that window. Dude, <laughs> you should have. Yeah, you should have. No. 100%. And I was like, what are you going to do? And he's like, oh, we'll just, we'll just fix it. We'd have yeah. to close this room off until it's fixed. Yeah, that would have been so. No, that would have been fucking incredible. 
That yeah, you guys would have freaked so so yeah. right out. Next. Oh, I don't want that. Don't plan that in the future. It's, it's not on. <laughs> We'd fix yeah. it. Like we get O'Brien in straight away. No, tomorrow. It's the freakiness <laughs> in that happening. I know. Like, but I had a great. It's like that same thing I was talking about before. When you're truly scared, it's sort of exciting. It's like when you tell, say like ghost stories to your friends when you're a little girl. True. In the campsite. <laughs> And, and one last one, which I never forgive Michael for. I just remember this. Oh, I, I, I know at, what you're going to say. At North Lakes, oh. I just bought a brand new car, <laughs> right? A brand new car. <laughs> what so sort of car I, was it again? Oh, look, back in the day, it was like a Mitsubishi Outlander or something. But back then, like, that was like my precious new, brand new Mitsubishi <laughs> Outlander. I drive it up. Oh. I drive it up to the tennis courts that night just to show it off. Hey, look what I've got. And then... I come back from coaching and I jump in the car and I can just smell this disgusting smell. And I'm just like just looking around and I look like down beside me, like on the seat, like I might've well, been in the under passenger something. seat, passenger seat. <laughs> and there's a dead bird. Like a dead crow. Like a, a dead crow. So bird. he found like this dead decaying, like it was a magpie crow. or crow, it wasn't yeah. a crow. And it was in there for ages. And yeah, and he's, and he's left it in my, on my car seat. And then, so I've gone, what the hell? So I've, I've, opened, I've, I've picked it up, thrown it out. I'm going so cranky at him. And I get really cranky. All right, back. And I was like, what the hell, Michael? Why would you? And, and he's like, oh, How did you know it was Michael? Oh, just, just, just went for Michael. It's got to be Michael. Yeah. Like, it's all, Marty, it's he always had there. dead birds on him. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but the worst part about it was, what he didn't realise is, he left it on the seat for so long. All its guts and, and juices. putridness had sucked in and just gone into my seat. And that smell did not leave my brand new, <laughs> my brand, you know, that beautiful new car smell for like months. I was like, I'm trying to brush it out. It'd be so hard to explain to people. I'll, I'll put my hand up and I'll, oh, that's my bad. I'll say sorry. I'll okay. apologize to that Never one forget on the record. For what, is, what, did, what did people say? What did you, did you have to tell them when people got in the car? Like, oh, sorry, don't mind the smell. Well, I just one kept spraying deodorant in there. Like, I just spraying, spraying. Lynx Africa. Oh, it was disgusting. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that, that that's my so bad. He has done some very silly things. Oh, yeah. Very silly. bad judgment. So and upset. Matter. Matter. I remember once also in Greg's granny flat, this is just a random little story. Greg was talking to us about something and I had a bottle of soda water in my hand and then just <laughs> Greg was mid conversation and I just started pouring the entire <laughs> bottle of soda water on top of my head and just don't break eye contact with Greg while I do it. You see him like think, look back and look forward and look at me and he can't register this real reality like real life's going on right Mate. now he's like what 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 huh? and then you're just like constantly looking at him his not granny breaking flat. character <laughs> but like every time I see them now when they come to my house Marty will just flop his wang out and just start peeing <laughs> right in front of me. That's just like, so I'm just having a conversation, mid conversation, he just whacks it out and just starts peeing. Yeah. Like, like as if no breaking conversation, <laughs> just keeps, just starts going. I'm just like, you're right. That's every, <laughs> that, that's every day. Well, I came home, I went outside to check the pool and, and he came out behind me and was just pissing. <laughs> and then Michael escalated it by rubbing his hands like he's washing his hands off in it <laughs> like you know, he comes in comes up behind and just washes his hands and then spruik up his and, face and i'm just it. like oh there was no, so, there's right. something about that because when i first started hanging out with him i remember we were in henry's unit in the city and marty was pissing in the shower and henry just walked up and went oh yeah and just like sort of touched it a bit yeah. like to check the temperature or something yeah. <laughs> it's just just normal for them isn't it well you're yeah. well, well, yeah. like it's like it's and it's like you just wash it off and it's gone you know yeah it's just weird yeah, it's, and so I've. It's I've wonderful. Just, fuck, <coughs> it's fucked up. I'm pissing in toilets. It's, it's wonderful you're so close. Just piss wonderful. wherever you want. <sighs> yeah. So um. Yeah. That's uh. That's Greg. Everyone. Mm, yeah, we that's thought me, we'd get mate. him on and just sh show you guys what he looks like and shit. Mm. Can't. He has been on before. Oh yeah. Season one. You came on right. The very yeah. first prank call is Greg. Oh yeah. Oh, that's no, I wasn't on the show though. I think you actually sat down with us. Really? I have a feeling that's happened. Really? Or have I made that up in my brain? I think you have. All right, anyway, Greg, thank you very much for coming on. Um, a long-term uh, friend of, of us and the show, and uh, we fucking love you dearly, brother. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. No it's worries. Pleasure, yeah. No worries. Grab a seat. You can fuck off home or you can no, sit, well, sit around and listen to us fucking fuck around. Can't All right, and we're back. All right, it's time for Bachelor Brown. Bachelor Brown! Bachelor Brown! He's right behind you! And so on and so forth, where Michael and I have taken it upon ourselves to find Matt a wife. And we've hand-selected these women. 
Make sure they're perfect for you, you fucking pig. I that's look, a single 40 year old lonely cunt, and he doesn't I'm know how to talk f- to women anymore. I'm not and we're 40, fix I'm 35. That. So we're fixing that for him, and here we have a, a beautiful young lady named Chantel, and she would like to get to know you, Matt, and we've organized that for you. She tells Shans. All right, here we go. Where's she from? Hard to do this. Hello. Time. Hello, am I speaking with the Chantel? Yes. Hello, Chantel. You're on the Mighty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast. And sitting to my left, I have a nervous, stumbling, bumbling sweat pig. And he's all fucking nervous because he's single and alone and he doesn't know how to fucking talk to God anymore. Matt Brown! And we've called you to see if there's. Some sort of chemistry between you two and see if maybe we can tee up a date. So, Matt, I'm going to throw it over to you and don't fuck this up. Win her with your charm. Be a confident young man. Look what I'm wearing. I don't know if she... She doesn't know what you're wearing. All right. I want to know what you're wearing. <gasps> Talk about sex. <sighs> no, I'm really nervous. <laughs> oh, you're nervous. I'm nervous too. Come on, calm her down. Are yeah. you? Yeah, it's so really hard sure, because... Really sure. It's so hard because you, you're like, all right, you know, you, you, you motivate yourself in your head. Don't stumble your words like that. Marty <laughs> opens with a screaming, you know, voice and you're like, oh, don't, shit. Don't stumble. You stumbled again. Yeah. Don't I stumble. feel more nervous over the phone than I would in real life, I think. Yeah, me too. I'm quite confident in real life, but <laughs> not in the, the, not, in the um, wow. not over the phone, not on this. Matt tells lots of people what to do at his work. Tell her. Oh, what, what do you do for work? Oh, uh, no, that's not important. <laughs> oh, <laughs> confidence. <laughs> Concrete confidence. I manage some people. That's oh, 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 okay. So, but some more. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Keep yeah. talking. What do you do? Where, where, are you from? Oh, where are you from? Oh, I'm Sunny Coast. Oh, Ooh. nice. That's not far. I know. My mother lives there. Oh, it's oh really? Big. Maybe it is yeah. your mother. Oh, quiet. Mm. <laughs> I know my mom's voice. Um, So, what do you do for a living? Um,. Do you have any deal breakers in that regard? Of course not. No? Um, well, look, speaking of deal breakers, <laughs> I've just had my daughter actually just walk in. So oh, I don't know Matt, oh, oh, shit, like, yeah, Matt hates mums. I'm so sorry, Shane. That's a lie, That's, that's all right. Matt, that's okay. You, no, he's just, he's saying that now to be polite, but off air, he will say, oh, for oh. fuck's sake, I ain't fucking talking to that mum. <laughs> no, Matt's very good with kids. He's very well, good honest, with kids, I don't weirdly. I not the podcast but I did see um, a recent one, I guess, that popped up where you were holding a baby and that's why I'm here. <gasps> so I thought you looked pretty cute. <laughs> like, Thank oh. you. Brown, that is winning over the ladies. But, but look, if it's a deal breaker, that's fine. Are you a vegan? Because that's my deal breaker. Just put it up for adoption or something. Am I a vegan? <laughs> no way. Yeah. No, well, no, not at all. Well, that's my deal breaker. So just, that's good. No, I don't think I have any deal breakers. No? Surely you okay. do, Matt. What if she was a... Um, well, <clears throat> none that I've discovered yet. Can't say. I'm that. open to anything. Um, okay. So you're going to say what you Start do for a living? Floating. Start floating with her a bit. Yeah. Well, I do have multiple sources of income. Um, I do renovate Business. homes, and them, but my main source of income is OnlyFans. Um, oh, shit. I love that. Jackpot. Uh, cream. Jackpot. Cream. Jackpot. <laughs> cream on her. <laughs> he loves. He That's just made up for the kid. Okay. Oh, that's so right. mean. Um, <laughs> no, they just seem to always uh, get OnlyFans girls. There's uh, a few OnlyFans girls that have oh, come No, it's my OnlyFans girls okay. that are interested in you because of the way you conduct yourself. Oh, maybe. I think, yeah, uh, mine's a little bit different. Mine was because Take of COVID and I needed to obviously um, support my daughter, who's only two, so that was during COVID. And it just off. happened naturally. So I'm a little bit different to normal Take OnlyFans off. girls, but yeah. Are you listening, Matt? Yeah, some listening. Sorry, Matt was just standing up and looking up at the <laughs> ceiling. trying to take his shirt off. He's trying to take his um, too horn. No, no, it's absolutely fine. I think if you can make money on OnlyFans, go for it. Okay, well, that's nice. Thank you. And Chantel, would you, if we set it up and pay for an Uber for you to come to Brisbane, would you like to go on a date with our brown Matt? You're not going to put her in an Uber with Yes, I am. Random. Yes, I am. Watch me. <laughs> where, would, where would you take me, Matt? I'd come to the Sunshine Coast. Where would you take oh, her there? Nice. Robins? No, I've never been out the Sunshine Coast. Nice the There's a bakery there, Robins. Robins. We're going to go to Robins Bakery. <laughs> Their sausage rolls are out of Their control. Sausage rolls are great. 4.1 out of 5. A picnic on King's Beach. <laughs> yeah. 
Man, yeah, fuck. Craig's good oh, with that. Um, all right. Yeah. Tell her you love okay. her. Craig, this is, this is Matt. You've, yeah, and so sorry, Chantel. We're still trying to no, work no. on Matt's um, communication. Yeah. yeah, it's very... Uh, oh. He's just very nervous and he's vomited a little okay. bit. He's got some spit yeah. coming out of his mouth. And oh, he's, this is so uh, hard. He's, he's 45 in real age, but intellectually he's like 13. Can you see what I'm Oh, you're dealing 45? With? No, I'm 35. Oh, Stop telling same him. Same thing. Okay. Same thing. I'm 35. I'm 34. Yeah, see, she's a perfect age for me. Wow. Um, his favourite movie is Saving Private Ryan. And he loves to get up and reenact it uh, with his fake toy guns. <laughs> and he gambles a lot. Yeah, he's a, a bit of a drinking okay. problem. Um, what do you like to do in your spare time, Chantel? I cook a lot. I, I love to cook. Okay, then. Um, but I mean, I'm a full time mum, so that sort of takes up most of my time. So you watch um, lots of movies. Is that your child in the background? Yeah, she thinks she's a pirate at the moment. Can, so. you, can you put her on the phone? No. Yeah. All right, she can't. Hello? Hello? Say hi, creepy man. <laughs> Hello, how are you? No, she doesn't like me. Oh, I guess. Does, um, does, your, does, your, does, your, um, does your kid watch uh, Bluey? Oh, man. This yeah. Is this is a good angle. Do you know Um, do you know I'm, I do a voice in Bluey? Oh. That's big. Do that is yeah. Big. That is big. If you go to That's season true. three and go to the episode Phones, I'm the uh, Uber yeah. driver. Oh, yeah. Start. Oh, Ziggy. Ziggy, yeah. That's me. What the oh, fuck? Oh, my favorite you? character. <laughs> oh, my God. You know the character. Oh, that is so weird. Yeah, that is weird you knew that. That's like two sentences that you have. Yeah. I'll, 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 Say I'll, them I'll, now. It's, um, hang on. It's, uh, come on, voice. Come on. Hang on. Stop come on. Calm. Don't let stop. the nerves this get the better of you. Sorry. We're sorry. I'll be the granddad. I'll be the granddad. No, I open it up. I'm pretty sure. I go, here you go. I'm about to hang up, Matt. You better remember. He goes, thanks, Iggy. <laughs> and then I go, I go, thanks, Mort. <laughs> and then he says, let me pay Ziggy. And I go, see you later, Mort. <laughs> and I drive off. Wow. wow. And that's wow. my lines. Wow, Matt. You're now I'm really intimidated. That I'm is in high status I'm, an, I'm an Emmy award winning children show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah, fuck yeah, that's, fuck yeah. Chicks love fuck status yeah. and that is status. <laughs> Chantel, I think you have just, you guys are now officially... Boyfriend and girlfriend, thank you so much. <laughs> you have okay. saved Brown from right, loneliness. Bye, guys. See ya. We love see you. Bye, Chantel. Stay strong. Let's quickly Yeah, see ya. <laughs> wow. See ya more. Oh, that's not too wow. bad. Wow. Yeah. How many wow. other OnlyFans girls have you had? Six. Well, there's Isla. There's Chantel. Isla does OnlyFans. Jasmine does. Oh, I'm not sure if say that. And then, um, and then there's. Um, so Jess from the UK. She also does OnlyFans. So What's are we deal with this? Randomly enough, most though, like women Jess, do now. Jess is one of the most normal girls I've ever met. I get along with her so well. So who? You keep Jess. talking about that one. Oh, so, Jess. So Brown, Jess of UK. Is Jess, wait, Jess from what? <laughs> what if the, look, <laughs> Greg? Is Why am I? <laughs> I'm still on there. <laughs> I'm number two. You're Greg. <laughs> You're Greg, Greg. <laughs> Really, we're just looking at the top five board and that board is number, number one. Isla's number one, Greg's number two, Jess is number three, Jasmine's number four. What about the girl just then? What was her name? Uh, and who, um, was number Ali. Yeah. Ali's, Ali's number Ali's five. It, no, Ali's no, it was the, what about the girl from last week? What did we That's Leah? Ali. That's Ali. No, Leah. Oh, Le oh sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Sorry. Sake. Ali got dropped out and Leah is in now number five. And okay. so Which now I reckon do you want to replace Ethan? Ethan's gone. Oh, Ethan, sorry. So, yeah. so who, happy with Greg? You happy with that top five still? Oh, please move some girls. Up. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you don't want to be in there. Well, look at me. <laughs> like, this is all my angle is to get out of this. It's, yeah, that's true. I was going to go you. to number one, well, and then well, you don't yeah. have to do anything. Well, to be fair, Greg, if you end up winning, you have to come and live here. We'll pay for it. <laughs> you have to yeah. fuck Matt. <laughs> yeah, you have to have sex with Matt. Hard sex while Michael and I watch and clap. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, every While other, every other one's of our now labor. thinking, oh, fuck, I'm not going to come. <laughs> well, we stand there and we say, fucking, we did it. This is what we wanted. <laughs> Pump, Greg. Pump Greg. Pump <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So right, we better keep moving. Okay, fucking, that was, we're, yeah. we're fucking, was, uh, we're going jumping. to, it's a very long podcast so far. All right. Should we save the PO box for next week? I reckon It'll, otherwise we're for clear. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's move on to the questions. What the fuck was that sound? Stop that, man. What is that sound? It was a crickets or some shit. 
<laughs> <Fucking crickets. laughs> confused. Or a bug crawled on me and I panicked. All right, let's move on to <laughs> questions. And this is a segment where we answer your fan questions. If you want to ask us a question, comment on the Mighty Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So after you comment your question, have a scroll through and like the questions that you want us to answer. If we don't answer your question this week, we'll get to it eventually. Fuck. Greg will answer too. Um, number one question went to Ratmaster. Ha <laughs> um, ha! All right. Would what you ever consider adding the audio uh, during um, a bong, bong break, break uh, uh, into the actual, actual podcast? Because you know we always cut. Yeah. Well, the audio is just not very good. Like if we, what we do is just walk off and say it would be like. So it's like, okay. yeah, it's probably not worthy. To I think we in. had a teaser because one time we left the audio in when it was really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you, yeah, there's some yeah, freak trust out me, laugh if, sessions. If we think it's funny, we'll we'll try and leave it in. But if so, if it's not left in, it's probably not very funny. Yeah. Sorry. A little hole here. No, I love... Oh, fuck you. <laughs> All right, next question is from... Um, <laughs> don't. I, like I, I have a lot of <laughs> equipment in my hands. <laughs> He's balancing on one leg, milking stool. <laughs> Matt Brown right now. <laughs> all right. Next question is from Brendan Hinton. Um, out of all the crew, who comes up with all the website ideas, and how do you come up with all the the stuff? Uh, by the way, I fucking love you guys. We love you too. <laughs> we, it's, but all of us, yeah, all of us. We sit down and we brainstorm, and you know, sometimes we'll get ideas from other videos that we see, or like we'll fucking. Yeah, like the torture chest. I think there was a website member had like um, torture checkers or something. And then I was like, oh, yeah, we'll do torture chests. Mm. So that was like a website member idea. It's just from anywhere and everywhere, bro. Mm. It's yeah. all a collaboration. Yeah. Greg's here. <laughs> all right, next question is from Elliot Wilkinson. Um, did you end up tying a bunch of wheelchairs together or chairs and ride them down a hill? No, yeah, we wanted to, yeah. but like we- I think that's still an option. Well, well, yeah, we have Stop to go it. and get more chairs. The problem was we didn't have, um, the van can only fit so many chairs. We were living at f fucking, well, Michael's living at Church Road where the, all the chairs were. And it, the, it, the logistics of it were insane. We'd have to go back and forth to the hill that we found, which was like, 40 minute drive away so we'd have to go get some chairs drop them off go get some chairs well drop we them could off. have hired a truck but half the chairs were fucked anyway the wheels were, didn't work yeah, they were broken so like <sighs> it, it was just sort of one, like we could have put a lot of effort in it, it might have not work so it wasn't worth doing but also the other thing was you had an inspection and they um, got really angry like what's fucking go oh, these yeah, chairs so we had to get rid of the chairs can't. even though I didn't get rid of the chairs which is probably the reason why we didn't get a lease renewal yeah. which is why we're here now which is it all works out for the better and uh, yeah. fucking the brownery is where we're at uh, yeah so this fucking homeowner got a bit spoofy didn't he yeah yeah foamy Wait, did you ever go to the church roadhouse is that the last one you're at yeah no but I don't yeah. know how anyone would let you stay in any house mate yeah yeah, yeah, it was, I don't know. yeah it's that a one, fucking miracle that one I live by myself not with the brown and that place was just remember the fucked. front yard for, for a while looked it was like a, a fucking junkyard yeah, there were yeah. bricks and after, after, the, washing after machine. the washing machine video I know it, was, it looked disgusting I just it saw was. a rat bullshit yeah really? I'm lying I lied boom got his again <laughs> <laughs> you're fired sorry <sighs> alright next question is from Maddie. Does, Does Matt, Matt Brown, Brown partake, partake in, in the, the bong break? break? No, he can't no, because not. the the concrete gods draw blood, it. randomly draw blood from their employees and they put it in a tube <laughs> a and then they say, oh, there's a, you have a substance in your body, you're gone. And they swipe them from the <laughs> face of the earth. What an insane world where that's allowed. All of their workers are like this at their desks. <laughs> <laughs> 12 hours a day, seven days a week, and then they rip their arm off and test if there's drugs in it. That is, we live in a dystopian future. That is oh. fucked, I just realised. You know what oh. you should do, Brown? I've you, just realised. send him off. Brown, the way out of this is, and this is what everyone can do now, is you can just get a fucking uh, subscription Noose. or whatever, a, a pharmacy script. Or an OnlyFans. Or an OnlyFans. You could just get a, a fucking permit to smoke everyone, it. Everyone's still listening. Um, Would yeah, you no, no, subscribe to Matt's OnlyFans? If it was just Matt wanking videos, <laughs> <laughs> Matt yeah. wanking at different pawns, and it's like Can a you reaction. Stop. <laughs> a reaction. You video. stop. You you stop talking. I'll stand up. Um, 
what you're saying is yes, you can get right. a prescription, but being the business, being a private business, even if you had a prescription, they could. Li- there's nothing stopping them from going. Yeah, it's great you have a prescription. We're not going to stop would. you from smoking weed, but you can't. You're not. You won't be able to do that job. Just says for anxiety. I or guarantee whatever. you too. The cunts above that that don't need to get tested. They all would get be tested. on shit. Yeah, not only tested. CEO would not get tested. Get tested. Plan, they all CEO do. would not get tested. They, all get you, tested. they say that, I've but seen they it. don't. I've they stood say it, but they don't. We that is fucking. I've stood shoulder to shoulder. That is corrupt to the core. Brown. You have not stood shoulder to shoulder. I'm not with defending. The CEO. <laughs> Don't lie to me, Brown. Hey, it defends his skin. Is skin. Is your boss watching? His skin hit his nose. <laughs> skin hit oh, brown nose. It. I was going to taste it. All oh. right. Next question is from. Yeah, I got to, sometimes I miss. Imagine if we answer. started doing fucking That's drug testing. Answer. Yeah, here at Marty and Michael, we're going to start doing we marijuana have, drug testing. We don't have any staff left. Um, next question is from Matt's Mince. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Your why, Mince has an account. Why does Michael seem to generally get disturbed when Marty speaks German? Yeah, it's not disturbed. It's just like disgusted. <laughs> it, it, okay, it goes from it, it fluctuates from laughter to to anger. To hate, deep hate. <laughs> deep hate. Like it's it, like so if you hear him on the phone to his mum, it's just pleasant. It's a it's a comedy. Hello, show. mama. <laughs> it's just like oh, it's right. gets, mama. But then like drunk? yeah, there's moments where it's like fuck me, man. Why is that a real life thing that shouldn't be a reality? The words of German or yeah, him speaking German. The sounds of it. The and s- yeah, it's an original the language sounds over upset English. Michael. But we, as I said earlier, English fixed up German. English is German 2.0. Next question is from Shelley Burgess. Doubt it. Um, could you guys consider know, doing a Browns I'm live reaction to some of your most fucked, fucked vids? Uh, by the way, which sport is the scariest? Um, was not shit. I can still hear Michael's ribs breaking. Much love, Lilies. Oh, that sucked. Yeah, yeah. We've been talking about this for a while. We've got to show Brown some of the website vids. And um, I haven't seen any shit stuff. I'm not really keen to. Yeah, so that'd be perfect. I Have you seen the laugh. website videos, Greg? The the worst one I've ever seen, and literally I just can't erase it from my memory. I want to. Is that one where it was that uh, you guys serving food yeah, we were, in with with Jackson oh, and, and Julian, Julian, Julian the as the date? That was yeah. a bad. And you're one. like, that, that was, was on one. another level. That even surprised me how far you guys went, <laughs> like vomiting. Up yeah, into that, just kept coming up, didn't it? Then oh, it then, snorted the vomit. Oh, oh and it was one of the worst things I've ever sh- seen. Shaving sure. cream, shaving cream, shit, and then you pissing it off. Did you put that on your website? Yeah, yeah. that's all on that's the website. There, if you want to see that, <sighs> man, when you sent me that through and said, "Just check this out, see what you think." If you had to seen my reaction, <laughs> oh, we should have fucking it, yeah. like it was of disdain, distaste, <laughs> like. <laughs> But yeah, it's different. Just couldn't take my eyes off it though. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a train wreck. You just gotta just keep watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Anyway, sorry. sorry. That was a good sorry. 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 Um, next one is from Just Kidery. Kildery. Everyone shut up. Everyone shut the fuck up. We have a rarity. We have a diamond. <laughs> a diamond. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Yeah, look, look, look. Hey, look, listen, look, I'll look, accept yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, wow, they, they smell like carpet. Yeah, yeah, I had some carpet last <laughs> night for dinner, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, it wasn't long enough to be classed as... Yeah, yeah, sorry yeah. about that, everyone. Yeah. Continue with the stories. Yeah. Yeah. Such right. close friends. That the farts, they even like each other's fart smell. Yeah, well, that was like, yeah, it smells like carpet. I know every smell. What would your friends do if you showed them their asshole? If I showed... Them your, your asshole. I don't know what they would be thinking. Actually, like, I've never tried. Oh. I'm not that close. <laughs> Maybe with one. I don't know if it's a close thing or just a fuck sense of humor thing. Yeah, yeah we're the Misfit Minds that. boys here. I showed them my asshole <laughs> two hours right. after meeting them. Yeah, they took it pretty well. Yeah, yeah. they did. Can sure. I just ask a question? My my own question here. Just yeah, just. Man. Oh, sorry. You <laughs> had your fucking turn. <laughs> so, I'm sorry about that, but. Do you actually do that with Mon? Or can I say that? Can I put oh, it in the there? squirt is. Yeah. Can, 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 do, you, do you actually like sometimes just pull your ass right apart and just fart for not, her? Not, I don't, I would never show her my ass. No way. 
But yeah, I'll go around the corner of the room and do it just so she can hear it. And she, does she yeah, think she's always just like, what the f- How do you do that? Do you think that's funny? Not anymore. No. <laughs> no, no, it's sort of worn yeah. off, has it? What about they you, Michael? They don't react at all. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I've started like really letting them go and like mine reek. So she just gets very, very mad. <laughs> yes. Like she's just like, you can't do that. You have to go outside the room now. Like, and if I, yeah, so I have so to. So you're very comfortable. So that's what you're to, saying. Yeah, you're very yeah, comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Remember when I was now. farting? Because we had Mon and Amber with us on Sunday night when we went to that wedding. Remember we got home and I was farting like Constantly. every three minutes. Yeah. And like they were the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. hilarious. Food. They were getting so fired up. I don't know if it's weird, but I like the smell of my own farts. Oh, yeah. everyone does. Like, like that's yeah. why I cut Does anyone not like the smell of their own farts? Dude, I, I used to, yeah, I used to just like. I, I like, I actually have to. Yeah, yeah. Well, I just I, to see how I'm yeah. feeling. That Try day. this. This yeah. is a great technique Sorry, for people who who are alone at home <laughs> and they just want to have fun. Fart on your pillow with your pants down, and then just smash your head in the pillow, and you can bathe in I, it. I don't do that. That's, that's, <laughs> no, you, that, that's called that's pink eye. No, no, I've never ever. Eye. I've never had. Dude, pink I just, eye. that just reminded me of a fucking quick story. It's a quick story. We were at a tennis tournament, and and we were, there were some of the younger players, and Michael, one of the younger players, was out of his room, and Michael oh, ran no. into the room and got his pillow and wiped his ass with it <laughs> to try give him pink eye, and then he did it too much, so there was a massive <laughs> skid mark on the pillow, and he just flipped it over and we walked out of the room. <laughs> I remember that Was guy. I the coordinator of the trip? No, you. I, I think it was Alan and um, this was some other we coaches. We were at Gimpy. We snuck out trip. on that trip to, to find try and goon. find alcohol, yeah. And we played strip That's poker. That's right, I wasn't there for that one. Yeah, I know, yeah. know that, yeah, no, I remember, remember that. Played some strip poker with some blokes in the room <laughs> with Lewis and he was like, what the fuck is he going on? He just couldn't understand when we're trying to get him undressed. <laughs> <laughs> and then every now and then we're going to bed and I would just scream as loudly as I could yes. in 10 minutes and, Jill, and Lewis would just fucking sit up with such fright like, can you stop doing that please <laughs> yeah that was so oh, good oh, I wish Lewis so was here oh man he, he put up with some shit from us I wonder where, where's Lewis now I don't, I don't know. He played a bit of AFL and stuff. Yeah, I see yeah. him around every now and then. I say hello. Sorry, yeah. Lewis. He's a good Great dude. Lewis, yeah. All right. Final question is from Dean Malcolmson. Malcolmson? Yeah, that's Depending correct. Depending where he's from. Um, what keeps you guys motivated? <sighs> the, well, it's not hard to stay motivated when you're doing what you love. You're just making, just trying to come up with different ways to make people laugh is the motivation. Mm. Yeah. I like reading comments like when people think shit's hilarious like the uh, fucking the TikTok the prank calls on TikTok mm. some of them go fucking nuts and it's just so nice reading all the comments of people saying they're just full crying and fucking it's the funniest video they've ever seen and shit like that that's fucking like that's fu- I'll get up and I'll fucking high five my missus for that cunt even oh, like the like I like sick. the comments where it's like they're just they're yeah. shocked they can't they can't believe that you're a real human being that's what gets me off. And again, you've been like this since you were 14 years old. <laughs> oh, you. Yeah. And then- This yeah. has not changed. And then like, Thank I guess God. also like positive things, I guess is like exercise makes you motivated. Yeah. Just keeping a good fucking to be skull healthy. on your shoulders. Come keep the fucking motivation flung. But yeah, it <laughs> does help to have your friends around you. Uh-huh. Anyway, that's fucking questions. Fuck comment of the week. Yeah, it's gone. Um, I want to oh, really? open that thing. I wait, 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 wait. What with the poor fucking comment? Of the, oh, so we haven't done it? Yeah. I got one, but it's shit. Yeah, just throw it out there and we'll How move on. How long have we been going for? Just so they, a they've got time. a chance of winning. They've got a ch- so they, we've got to try and do it every week. All right, comment of the week. Is, I'm not even going to bother explaining it. You've got another chance to win $1,000. The comment of the week is... Oh, Matt? Shit, 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 Matt, what is it? Matt? It's like his fucking f- dates. <laughs> He's all clammed up. <laughs> Come on, Matt. Yeah, man. He doesn't like the baby's leg. Yeah, yeah, the baby's pull legs. It. The baby's legs. I can help. I can help. I don't pull want the cord. to. Don't pull oh, the cord. <laughs> He's all balanced. That was so like that was a Spurge's well, shit. I'm trying to balance it as well as Spurge's. Move. Trying to balance. Ready for the comment right, of the week? Comment of the week. Actually, actually, comment of the week went to Brock eleven. Fuck yeah. Um, he said, "Lol, make sure you cut, <laughs> make sure you cut the whole thing. A way too stressful to us to deal with. So Devo, your wife is cheating. A I'm as dumb as Matt." So that's the prank call from last week or the prank, the lie that we did to Matt and everyone. Just shine. If you haven't seen last week's podcast, watch Go it. On, have a squeeze. Fuck, it was good. Slender. 
All right. Um, all, right. all right, guys, we're going to finish off with a prank call. Um, we haven't really thought of one. We, we're going to call a mechanic as Darren, but um, it's so late now that no mechanics are open. Here we go. It's ringing. Here we go. I can't. Hey, Ganji. Um, my name's Darren. Um, I came in um, yesterday, right, um, and I bought a carton of uh, Great Northerns, right, the, uh, the cans. Um, yeah. I've come home, uh, cracked a couple of night with the uh, missus, and um, I've noticed there's two, two of them missing. Like, I bought a carton of 24, and I'm sitting here, I'm counting, like, 20 tonne that, and, like, we had a couple before I looked, but, like, I checked the empties and that in the bin and shit, and, like, um, yeah, there's two missing from the carton, right? So I was just wondering, like, if I come down and um, and you just fix that up for me, because, like, you know, we're two down, and, like, they're, what, they're, like, two, 250 each or something, you know what I mean? It's just sort of, like, a bit unfair that we has been ripped off on that. Yeah, what time did you come in yesterday? Oh, what's it today? Uh, must have been maybe like, um, maybe 2 p.m. or something yesterday. Have you, did you use a rewards card? No, no, I don't got no rewards cards, no. No rewards cards? No. Do you no. remember who served you? No, mate, I've got no idea. I was half cut at the time, so, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can come in and show you the carton, but, like, I can show you the empties too. Like, there's what? I think there's maybe, like, 16 beers left right, and then there's six empties, and there's 16 uh, plus six. Uh, yeah, that's 22, and there's meant to be 24 in there. Do you know what I mean? It's like... Like we've been ripped oh, off. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I've yeah, just yep. got a like. I've just got someone right. Yep. Ringing up saying I'm two beers short, but I've got to try yeah. and investigate nah, it a little I, bit. You I, know what I mean? I totally understand what you're saying. <laughs> I just and, hand and to be out honest, like, to I, that, I, t- I fully yeah. respect what you're saying. And to be honest, like, yeah. like the way what you just said, then I'm sort of like, wow, like she's actually like. Got a great point there, and I'm sort of like, like backpedaling now. I'm like, man, I've got respect for you now, darling. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> um, so, how, did you pay on your card? Uh, nah, cash is because I do um, like uh, labouring and that um, for mates and that, and they just pay us cash is and that. But if you check lock like, CCTV and that, you come in, um, I can block, put my face next to the screen and that, and then you <laughs> can you can see, oh yeah, nah, nah, he did come in at that time, and you can like verify it like that or something like that, if, if you know what I mean, if you just want to do that investigating and that. Oh, I'll just have a quick look now. What yeah. was your, um, what time... Do you reckon you came in? Oh, look. Oh, fuck. Must have been. Yeah, must have been about 2, 2.33, and 3.34 or something. Maybe 4.30, 4.30 or 5. 4.30 or 5 or something. Yeah, like in between sort of 2 and like 6. <laughs> That's a big window. All right. What'd you buy? Exactly. Just, just carton of, carton of uh, Great Northerns. Uh, the cans. No, no, the cans are great and all. Oh, the 30 pack? Yeah, 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 yeah. 30. Oh, 30 pack, is it? Fucking hell, yeah. See, there must be eight the beers. Can. Have you got bottles or cans? No, no, the little cans I've got. There must be eight missing then. Yeah, no, he's got to fix that up. That's not right. Like, that if I've come in um, to seems buy 30... like it would have been pretty light when you picked it up as well. Well, well like, like, I was half cut. Like, I'm not, like, weighing them and that. I'm not, like, like lifting them up thinking, oh, yeah, nah, nah, oh, yeah, nah, nah, nah. So I'm, like, just walked there with it, you know what I mean? And chucked it straight in the back of me bloody uh, Honda Civic and off I go, you know? Tch. Tch. Um... Tch. Tch. Yeah, so, no, nah, yeah, look... Like, because I'm getting on it tonight and that. Um, so, like, yeah, I'm going to have to come and get those eight because, like, one of the other boys come around and I don't got enough for him. And I thought, like, oh, look, I opened my fridge and I'm like, what the fuck's going on here? Like, I thought I had fucking, like, heaps more beers than that. And I was like, what the fuck? So I was, like, checking the bins and shit and the fucking kids haven't taken them nothing. So it's like, yeah, I must, I'm down eight beers right now. Too. Thought it was two, but, yeah, I thought it was two, but, yeah, too. Yeah, so between like 2 and like 7 p.m. or something. Two. Can I just come down? I'll show you the carton. Yeah, I've still just got to look on the cameras. Right, right, right. Um, right yeah. To make sure you got oh, red hair. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, yep. That's me. I've got red hair. I haven't found you. I'm just looking. I'm, well, I was wearing a you've hat. You've given me a pretty big window to look through. Yeah, look, yesterday was a bit of a blur. Two. But yeah, I was wearing a hat, um, like a cap, and um, oh fuck, was I? Fuck. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I would have been. Yeah, I would have been wearing me cap. 
because I would have just fucking finished at the um, finished my work outside doing the bloody uh, gardening and that for me mate up the road cashy <laughs> well, I can show you the carton do you have a mobile number I'll send you a picture of the carton so you can like verify it before I come in that um oh I'll just bring it in when you just let me figure this out first mate no can worries. I give you a call back in a couple of minutes no look I'm sort of in a rush now darling I'm going to need a yeah resident. look I've really I've got to look it up I can't just Go by someone ringing up saying I'm eight beers short. All right, well, how about I come in? I've got to look it up. How about I come in? I thought it was two, but do you know what I mean? Like you're saying, eight. I'm yeah, like, I know. I well, thought it was two. I don't two. know what you bought. So yeah, well, I'm, I'm telling you what I bought. What camera. do you mean? I'm telling you what I bought. I bought a car. Yeah, I know. And I'm like, and I'm now not you're trying tell- to have an argument with you. And now you're bloody you telling me. I'm coming from telling me you well, call mate. me back. Like you got to, you got to understand. Like I pay good money for me, uh, for me beers. I like, understand. I work that. hard. Like I just come off like, uh, like four hours of out in the bloody blister on Sunday. I was fucking hot. And now you're telling me, oh, oh nah, nah, you got to check the cameras and that. It's like, what, I like, do, oh, what mate. time? I can't just what time did you come in? Like, what don't time? Have, asking me all these personal questions. Years. What do I look I'm like? Not and, that? An with you. and what colours my argument. hair and that? Like, that's come on. That's a bit ridiculous, mate. I don't got to give you my personal details like that. So, how about I'm I just not, come in? I'm I, not dealing with this. No, no, what, I'll come in. All right, I'll come in with. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. I am that not dealing with this. Was fucking hard. That was rough. Oh, it starts off with yeah, I respect you. Yeah, I respect you. And you start arcing up. You think you get two beers to eight beers? <laughs> oh my god! I should have given her respect at the end. Yeah, yeah. Come nah, 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 nah. I'm sorry, oh, no. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I respect you. <laughs> <laughs> That's when she heard the tuss word. That's hard to hear, eh? Oh. Oh. It's so difficult. Yeah, that was a rough oh. one. I had to take the uh, earphones off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was so helpful. And then as soon as like you got a bit aggro, she's like, hang on, calm down. Yeah. What did she say? I'm not going to deal with this. I, I'm not going to have an argument with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, was... guys, that's the end of episode number 33. And we'll see you guys next week. And just remember to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five-star review. And uh, do everything that we say as well. We're the best. We're the best. We're the best and best and best and we're the best. We're the best. We're the best. 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 Best.